Uh, I voted against the um, against the uh, vote against the the, the merger with Yisrael Beitenu. I believe that this this uh, this could be the first step in a process that uh, hurts the democratic uh, system in the Likud, and and it comes at a bad time because the Likud right now is uh, is in a crisis of conscience. It needs to decide whether it's going to be the party that it's meant to be, which is to support uh, the Yashvut, uh, the settlement, Jewish settlement in all the land of Israel, and to oppose uh, a Palestinian state, which be, would be a great danger, or it will be some kind of uh, other party, pragmatic party, which uh, which is kind of the tack that uh, Victor Lieberman likes to take. He says he's against the Palestinian state, but in practice, but in principle, he wouldn't be against it. We don't know what he believes in a lot of things, so it could be a, a danger. Um, I'm also running for the Knesset precisely because I believe the Likud is in a crisis of conscience and it needs a, a voice which can uh, advocate for the principles of the Likud in a professional manner and uh, of course to advocate for uh, Olim and for uh, the English-speaking community um, uh, and for, for our general outlook uh, which wants a stronger Israel, not a weaker Israel, which wants a, a more successful Jewish people uh, that will su survive uh, and be successful in the long term. I opposed all of those things, uh, the settlement freeze, um, uh, the Bar Ilan speech, even people don't remember the, uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister's speech before he went to the United States. He made a speech in the Knesset saying that uh, he was willing to cede sovereignty over most of Yudav Shamron. I'm totally against that. That, that is against the uh, values of Likud. However, I, I do think that uh, we should recognize that when, when the Prime Minister was elected, just uh, a month before he was elected, the, probably the most anti-Israel president in all the history of the United States was, uh, took office in Israel. If you remember, before the elections in Israel, Obama sent George Mitchell to, to, United, to Israel specifically to pressure during the elections. And he also said before he was elected, he made promises to various people publicly and privately that he would make uh, a Palestinian state the, the most important issue of his administration. So for the first two years of Netanyahu's uh, term in office and Obama's term in office, Obama you turned the power of the United States against Israel. So I think that, I don't believe that Bibi wants a Palestinian state. I don't think um, uh, it meshes with, for instance, when he says uh, he endorses a demilitarized Palestinian state. I believe that he, he, he thinks that this is something that can never happen. However, that doesn't mean it's, that it's something to be excused. We have to uh, fight against it with all our might because it's not just about what Bibi Netanyahu will do. It's what happens after Bibi Netanyahu. What kind of party will the Likud be? If the Likud is a party that doesn't in principle oppose a Palestinian state, what will happen when you have a Labor Prime Minister or a Kadima Prime Minister who, or who knows, a Yesh Atid Prime Minister, uh, Yair Lapid in, in, uh, in, in office, um, and the Likud isn't there to stop them from, from making these dangerous concessions and putting thousands of Jews uh, at risk, if not the very future of the State of Israel.